What's up guys, back again with another video. Um, this time I'm going to show you how to use internal JavaScript and um, external JavaScript with a separate file. So um, whenever you want to use uh, internal JavaScript is when you have like only a few lines of code. So to do that, you'll go to your body, no, no, behind your body, and uh, wait, excuse me, no, 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 it's right here, at the end of your body, like before the closing tag, and then type script, and then give it a closing tag, of course. And then this is where you put your code. So open this up, and then we can put our code in here. So we can say uh, alert um, test one two three. So now if we reload this, it'll say test one two three. You don't have to know what this means yet. It's just an example of code. But the thing you do need to know is how to make internal JavaScript, which is with these tags. It can actually be anywhere in your uh, document, I believe, but where you usually want to put it is right, be right be, uh, before the uh, closing body tag. So, yeah. So that's not always the most useful um, thing to do because if you have like tons of code, you might want to have a separate file so it's less confusing, or many JavaScript files actually. So to do that, you can let's just get rid of this. And. Uh, so we're going to make a new file. Oh, ignore these two video files. This is just the same folder as where I'm putting my tutorial videos right now. So ignore that. You should only have the HTML file. So let's make a new file and we'll call it um, hello.js. Any JavaScript file ends with JS, okay? Yes, okay. So open that up and then we can do the same thing. We just put the code in. We don't have to have anything else, just the code. Oop, that's messed up. Alert. And then put the message in there. A. And then semicolon to finish it off. And then we've, we have to go back in here. See, if we reload now, nothing's going to happen. But we have to uh, add it to the code. So if we do source. And now we put the location of the file. So it's in the same folder as this file right here. So all we got to do is put app.js. Or no, excuse me. It's called hello.js. So we'll put that. So let's say that we make a new folder and we'll call it JS. That's commonly what people use to put their JavaScript files. And we put this in here. Yes. Then we have to rename this. So JS slash. So folder name slash and then file name. Yeah. And then now the code works. Pretty cool. So if we reload every time, it'll say, hey. So yeah, that's how you do an external JavaScript uh, mention or whatever you call it. So now we could uh, type any of our JavaScript code in here now. Pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. It's very simple. Um, so the next episode, we're going to get into um, the console, the developer console, I think. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. And if you liked it, leave a like. And peace.